you know, you're one of the main people that got your father to start looking into the whole New World Order system. Yeah, yeah, it was, you know, I, I was saying, I mean, my father kind of he got me to start questioning, you know, media and then really questioning history and, and, and current events that happened, you know, through his research into JFK. And, you know, and so as I, you know, continue, you know, as I kind of perceive the world that way and start paying attention to more and more things, uh, that's when I kind of discovered the New World Order and the 9-11 and, and things like that, and I was bringing that to him. Uh, and and it, it was, it, 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 I guess it's father-son bonding. <laughs> so the circle, <laughs> the circle is now complete. He woke you up, yeah, and then you yeah. woke him up even more. Exactly, and, and and we do, and we wake each other up a, a lot of times. You know, I mean, he'll he'll read something that'll that'll shock me that I haven't heard before, and, and vice versa. And, and and working together on this show, you know, it happens all the time. Uh, and of course, now you know, I mean, even this summer, I mean, I had a very interesting thing happen to me this summer while working on the show. Stay there, uh, yeah. Let's talk about some of the harassment and things that have happened. Uh, but it's it's great to see a father and son working like this. I hope someday my son can uh, work with me. Hope I'm still around then, or that we're all of us are still around. Tyrell Ventura, stay with us. And Max Kaiser is coming up with all the financial news. Drudge Report's top link to us for seven days straight. He's got our new story out about how this is a big national issue now with the TSA abuse. More has come out on that that I can't even say on air because of all the profanity. Uh, but uh, it deals with the TSA and what they call the naked body scanners. That's from the Atlantic Monthly magazine. Okay, that's prestigious. This is really happening. So we've gone to a whole new level here that we've broken through into. We're searching the term FEMA camps today. Put it in Google over and over again. I have no doubt you'll make it the number one search term. Then people will find out. I mean, this is big. Okay, I, I went to these FEMA centers with Jesse. I went to Georgia with him. They went a bunch of other places. I didn't go. They've got these congressmen confronted. Jesse talked about the harassment and weird stuff that happened along the way. Tyrell, you are ready. So you want to tell the story of the guy in the suit uh, in your trash? Tell folks about it. It was interesting. You know, I was uh, I live here in Los Angeles, and I'm not dodging rocket fire from the coastline. <laughs> I, um, I, uh, I was coming home uh, in, back in July, early July, when we were first kind of compiling, just started shooting the show. Got home at about two o'clock after two a.m. after being out uh, at you know dinner meetings and things like that. Uh, came up my front entrance. My cousin who I live with was coming up the back entrance, and he says, "You know, hey Ty, there's someone going through our, our trash uh, in in the alley." And you know, in, in L.A., sadly, we have a pretty good homeless population. So, so I was like, "Well, that's kind of normal." And he says, "No, no, the guy's in a in a suit." I said, "Really?" And so I walked out, uh, you know, under the back little balcony there, and looked down, and sure enough, you know, there's a guy, probably you know, local hire PI or something like that, you know, going through all of uh, going through paperwork, you know, that I that I'd thrown away. He wasn't finding bottles and cans or anything like that. Just literally going through any kind of paperwork documentation. I wish I you would have gotten neighbors. a video camera. You got to keep one locked and loaded at all times. What'd you say to him? Uh, well, I kind of, the moment I got down there and then went over there, you know, he ran off and, you know, I kind of yelled after him, but, uh, you know, he kind of ran off into the night, uh, uh, you know, without a word. And, uh, but it was very interesting. You know, the next day I asked all my neighbors, you know, who, who I, you know, the four, four other units in our, our place and, uh, you know, asked them, is anyone being, you know, anyone going through a lawsuit or is anyone in a divorce or anything like that? And no. So the only... The only person who was doing anything that would, would probably uh, necessitate that was myself. Uh, so, you know, it happens. And, uh, you know, once the, you know you get strange calls in the night and, and all sorts of that kind of harassment. So, uh, you know, obviously we're, 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 we're shaking them up. You know, obviously they're nervous about what we're presenting, uh, which is good. That means we're doing our job. Well, a lot of other stuff has happened behind the scenes as well. People go through a lot to bring this information to the public. I was, you know, talking with Charlie Sheen and uh, Mr. Cuban, Mark Cuban, when he was going to put out Loose Change in theaters nationwide. And they called up one of the producers uh, and in Hollywood who was going to distribute it and said, your your kids aren't going to be safe. A, a, a general uh, who was in the family called up and said, your children won't be safe. This is this is a message. And I had to hear that. And then Mark Cuban, I was told, had been threatened by the Securities and Exchange Commission if he did not make the film. He got scared and didn't make it, didn't release it. And still, they indicted him, and he released to the New York Times their emails threatening him from the Securities and Exchange Commission, and he got phone calls. I knew about that a year before it was in the news. I mean, they call up and threaten to cut my wife's head off, to do stuff to my kids. That's why my house has got six surveillance cameras on it. And we're locked and loaded inside. We're not living in fear. You know, if you come to my house to hurt me and my family, no, you will meet resistance. 
Uh, but this is real, and these FEMA camps are real, and this is groundbreaking. Mm -hmm. Folks, you've, you've heard on the show, I, I promote a little bit the other shows, and they're important. Uh, you know, Plum Island, bioweapons, you name it. But, but even episodes I'm in, people are like, you're not even really promoting this. I'm promoting this episode because it is super groundbreaking. Tyrell, final comments. My final comments are just, hey, you know what? Tell your friends and neighbors, watch this show, because it is so important that we, we get people aware of this, of this very dangerous issue uh, that faces us as a, as a, as a country. And, and we got to put a stop to this. And, 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 you know, hopefully if we get enough people that, you know, shook up by what they see on TV and then they go out and do their own research, you know, they'll, they'll hold their, their political leaders' feet to the fire on this issue and hold their media accountable on this issue for not truly reporting and not truly investigating it. Uh, because, you know, the more news outlets and the more, and the more we talk about this and the more we uncover these things and, and bring them to the light of the day, light, light of day, you know, they, they, they can't operate. You know, they, they, they want to operate in secrecy. And, the, and, the, and if we take away their secrecy, then they have to close them down. And, and, and we're still, you know, we still have the ability to do that. They have not locked us down yet. But we have to, we have to be diligent and, and, and good citizenship, uh, citizenry and, and, and prevent this from happening. Uh, and then, you know, well, thankfully shows like ours and yours uh, absolutely. You know, will get the rest of everyone else trying. And, you know, these Google searches and making them the keywords of the day, that's important. You know, that, well, that, Tyrell, that people see that. unfortunately we're out of time, but you have been an exemplary asset to the production. I've been honored to be involved. God bless you, and hopefully we'll get your dad on next week about the JFK episode. God bless you. All right, take care of yourself, Alex. Great job, buddy.